in Infinite's hands, so that could definitely throw a spanner into the works. Or perhaps it's going to be the sheriff that does the dirty work. Mame, unfortunately the first victim for this, but look at this move from Envy. This is a, such a slow play by them, but I absolutely adore it. They're just going to be walking you through screens, making noise at just the last possible moment they need to. This is where those buckies Ooh. can really shine, and you're going to see it reflect in the frag. Wait a minute! NRG. They pick up two in their favor. Everything has seemingly gone wrong here. <laughs> Crashies, he has to go ahead and try to piece this round together. The Bucky, not exactly great at that long range. Will allow Crashies to pick up another and get that spike down, Gus. It's going to be Sky Mirror. The crack and the uh, Seekers, excuse oh. me, have come out to play. Right, the Seekers are already out. And they already spot the man in heaven. So if anything, Crashies just has to wait for the drop. And indeed, there it goes around the corner. Oh. Infinite wins it out with only 22 HP. Again, you just got to laugh. NRG come into this round with an army of Buckies of all things. And I think that into this one and Envy, they're sticking with the pistols like you mentioned. You're going to see a heavy emphasis like you did in this pistol round over towards one side of the map. But they are keeping one player, Crashies I believe it is, over towards mid to maybe provide a little bit of information for his team. They can't find the frags behind it, Gus, and it looks like this is falling flat. Uh, falling flat, that was the expected outcome for, oh, for sure. really the guys of Envy. So not too much to look at. NRG, good pressure on the man, uh, on the ramp side still with a good rarity. Mummy was an absolute legend with the operator. But now this time, the entirety of Envy still making their way over towards the B side. There's That's only one on the lurk and now in we go. Shanks has the updraft. He actually bumps his head on a little bit of a divot. And Mummy is there to take advantage too. Food and Mummy both with frags. That is so unfortunate for Shanks. I, I swear you can put a little bit of a bonk sound effect right as Shanks tried to go for the updraft. But it is what it is. NRG down to a two on four. And Som, he's about to get flanked on from heaven. And there it is. One last player remaining. It's Daps now in a 1v4. He's actually going to try to go for this, potentially. A couple of frags here and there would really affect the economy for Envy. But otherwise, time has already gone by. The round is for Envy. But for NRG, they're scratching their heads. I think this was such a good round from Envy, though. What they did to start things out here was, once again... Bring out that flash, bring out the guiding light, and they used it towards ropes, popped it in there, and right before it was about to pop, Daps shot it down. So they had a good idea of where the stack was going to be, and since there's a player located by ropes, they felt a lot more comfortable making it into a B hit. However, all their util setup is restricted for now, and again, NRG, this is a little bit of a last stand for their economy, too. They're about to get reset, but this is an interesting setup here. Shanks has to hold off. That have an area in Som. He was about to pull off a wall right in front of him just to try to hold off the A main side, but he still has the drop of the stinger. But eventually, Envy, they control and they overwhelm. Still infinite with a Bucky. Wait a minute. He does it no again. Way. No, it's a two on two. Still one close up. If he had waited just a millisecond, good boost win for the wide swing. But this is winnable now for Daps. Unreal oh, timing. No. Caboose peeks out, but no Daps! Uh, Runs right uh, into the cold arms of FNF. The most useful wall, but this time, Shanks, he's not going to really be anywhere to be found, at least for another couple of seconds. A TP into the back of the site. The XQ is going to begin. Envy just waiting for that ice to maybe melt a little bit from the floor, and that will mark the beginning of a ton of kills. Caboose finds the opener far from the last one Ooh. here. Uh, oh, far from it. Gotta give it up to the wide Jeez, beats again. Crashes? Envy. They absolutely clean up house. That's that wonderful. works as well. Yeah, Sites no info. There's, I mean, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's free real estate. <laughs> it's free real estate now for Envy here on site with nobody here for NRG. So again, NRG mostly booked around that mid side. When I talk about fast rotates, this is as fast as you can get. They're holding back the line. Still crashes, FNS, food, all getting fragged. But still restricted down to the two on two. Crashes around the corner. Does know that there's one back over towards main, but the crossfire is set up for EU. That's massive. And now it's infinite. Still holding down the angle and mummy now with an operator down to a one on two. Spike control is fully in the hands of NRG, but 
Mahomet taking a little bit more of an alternate route. It could definitely get this initial kill wow, onto Infinite. What a shot. Kind of split alongside his teammates. They're going to be seeing a very quick change of pace in from NRG, but it's not Whoa. the pace change that they needed. Oh lord, this is such Whoa, an awkward caboose. split already. Yeah, and we are making it work. Caboose finds another one, Gus. What in the world is happening? NRG, they just can't get anything together as they're down two versus five. No, Envy, they still have one linchpin to the back, and that was EU. EU's only able to get one, though, and FNS with a quick... Oh, with a quick frag. Now look to innovate. What a flash. Cool. Oh, God. Deep flash, perfect timing, and even then, Caboose on the front line still has to hold down side. Indeed, gonna be able to get one. Headshot Unreal. to Infinite. Caboose going nuts. Oh, and is lonesome, waiting for players to walk out of the smoke. NRG, they have no chances, no matter who, no matter what is in front of them. And oh no, EU. Why are you running? Cage out can path to heaven very quickly. You can start taking advantage of some of these new changes towards split. Doesn't seem to be working out in their favor almost uh. whatsoever. They trade blow for blow, but they are on the back foot NRG. And once again, NV, they look to continue their winning ways as they're already wrapping behind and look to wrap this up. Yeah, they have all that information too. One person over towards screens doesn't see anything, but uh <laughs> I mean I, I, what is this? I don't know. Making as much noise <laughs> as possible over towards elevator. One in mid series it's caboose. One from the crossover. <laughs> Makes noise off the drop. Are you kidding me? No way. Oh, okay. Oh, I was about no. to say, no way he gets kills here. Infinites around the corner. Pretty much knows exactly where Caboose would be. And, uh, well, who would have thunk it? It's a two on two now for NRG. But Did Envy does cover? have a quick rotation back. And we talk about shotguns before, but this time it's in the hands of N. No, oh, I'm sorry. Not oh, my. LMG this time. And of course, it's Mame. Oh, my. I didn't even see it. Wow. L not a rifle for all intents and purposes. So, you know, just feel things out for a while. They're already moving incredibly quick towards B Heaven. And so they're gonna be rewarded for their efforts, or so I thought, a beautiful blinding light allows them to pick up one, but it's traded out quickly. Watch out, Bummy on the front lines. Massive taking down Shanks. Looking away at the perfect time for the flash, but he still has to counteract so even wrong. more. Goes all the way back and stays disciplined. He can now play up with his teammate over towards B. As, again, with such a beautiful angle now, is Caboose just watching for the crosses. No smokes in B main either. Or, I'm sorry, back over towards spawn. As Infinite now has the angle and has to go for the 1v1. Still with 45 seconds left. There's a whole lot of options, but they're getting restricted for Envy. As EU takes down FNS. And that's the A set essentially wide open. Whoa, Caboose. That's preemptive. Okay, that's very preemptive to say the least. They fully expected left. a crossover, but yeah. instead now, oh, Som no. actually spots out one over towards stairs. B side is empty. And again, with the position, with the position that this player actually had off the teleport, with the position that Caboose actually had control of. I mean, NRG, they would have had such a tough time actually making their way over towards the B site. But instead now, NRG, this round is essentially free for them if Caboose doesn't pop off. Oof. Now get that little bit of information, and not only that, but FNS, he's about to get into an interaction <laughs> with the EU after he teleports into middle. No so, uh, yeah, it, it's just so many awkward spots really both of these teams and uh <laughs> it just so happens to be that energy is really the butt end of most of these actions but envy now with almost a full rotation back over towards the b sites four players here fns on the front lines but crashies is going to be here to try to supplement things the seeker does find one though in goes the white swing still going to be able to hold down to one taps with one back caboose in the middle of a smoke emerges and gets himself another restricts things down to a 1v1 and now things are possible for daps he gets spotted out still with 40 seconds left there goes the revival not even a bait it's in a beautiful, safe position, and Daps gets revealed 30 seconds left. from up top. He's actually trying to go for it. There goes the wide swing <laughs> from FNS. What on earth was that, Daps? You know, I, I'm not optimistic. Uh, it was it was well done in a sense, or well right. targeted in a sense by NRG. Envy, they haven't shown too much attention over towards the A site yet. We've seen lurks from NRG actually really work out in that area. So, in a sense, with them having that early information, 
really trying to target what would be a little bit weaker spot on the map it's not bad uh, they still got the job done but envy they don't exactly have to worry about that so instead of holding on to the a side a little bit more loosely they actually have someone on the flank right now as we speak over towards sewers and everyone from envy is in mid and when i say everyone i mean absolutely everyone all five players in mid as everyone else for nrg spots their way right out of b main the pistols from Envy, they're going to have to work their hardest coming into this one. Som has the first contact. EU with a return frag, but FNS still makes it possible. Gets one back over towards the B main area. Huge Infinite kill. still holding. Now it's a two on two. One in heaven, one coming out from main. EU, he spots his target. Not going to be able to get the kill. No way. FNS still takes it back. Infinite now 1v1. That wall's about to break. Fruit has no idea if his opponent is on the left side or the right side, but he still gets it anyways. What a flick from Food. And that's going to be the finisher for splits. Envy, 13 to 6 over G starts things off a little bit slower. They're on a split, but the boys of Envy have already full rotated over towards A, except for one on B, just looking out for info. And it's working out as Envy, they've gotten full baited. Oh my lord, what a beautiful bait it is. Camera's taken down, and that is going to begin their movement. They're going to go, though. C, Look at this fast rotation. Wait a second. Oh, they're double baiting it here. The spike is actually sitting at the bottom of C still. They well, have so much map control right now, Gus. And Ito, the only reason why they're doubling back is because all of that information that the solo player over towards A is getting. Som, he right. heard everyone running away from the heaven area. Heard everyone running spot. away from A main. And not only that, but he's still holding down the line. NRG, however, because of how around the world this round has been, he can't exactly trust in terms of all of their players surviving. Still is a two on four, but oh boy, they might as well just have a chance. They just have the positional advantage, but there's one over towards long. It's food getting the flank in. Saw him down to low HP. Could be able to get the heal if he had enough time, but it's not going to happen. And not that teleport play at pop. I actually do like this, though. They're... Wow, energy are just immediately pushing in. This <laughs> is such a disrespect of space. I, and I feel like this is going to be perfect for Envy, but it doesn't seem to be working out. I said this yesterday, NRG, they love their W key. They make their way <laughs> beaming onto that C site. No issues. Again, like I said before, those HyperX keycap replacements, they have to come in so clutch every week for these guys because NRG, they love to run. They love to boot their way on. The pace is high. The momentum is good. And the confidence is still wow. there for the boys of NRG as they clean up this round easy peasy. Is now Envy. They're the ones down to the eco. In NRG, they could end up just going once again for another one of those whole W rounds, which indeed Solomon is going for. But one right click this? from Mame takes him down. The crossfire works. On oh, God, how did this happen? There is no shot that NRG should have been taken down to two players there. But the pistols, the power of them, it's too strong. It's too strong in the early round, but these pistols really struggle when it comes to about this point on. You see that energy are having second thoughts about even committing towards C. They're going to slow the clock down. They still have so much time to work with. They can wait out some of their cooldowns, get an another dark cover if they really wanted to, and obviously get that heal in play. You know, just make sure that you have all the tools that you possibly can to actually re-exec towards C. And this leaves Envy thinking. You see how they're also having a couple of question marks over their head on, hey, are they actually going to be late rotating A? I mean, I mean, Christ, they could be moving through their spawn right now. It's a big question for Envy, and since they have these pistols, this is the worst possible place for a couple of pistol players to be because where pistols really shine is when they have left. a set game plan. And now, Envy, unfortunately, they gambled out of red. Cover going up. This stack is all black. <laughs> NRG, they get the spike down in one of the best positions. There's that wall. More innovati innovative walls as they bring out the Sage for the first time. Seems to be a very good look for them. I'm not exactly a betting man, but I would like to say that NRG have some high chances going into this one. You mentioned yesterday hedge, uh, hedge funds and all. What they have earned because of it. 3-3, three to three, Envy. Maybe not a dominating oh, lead, but they definitely put themselves in a good position. Oh, no. Energy now need to once again quick it up the pace. Caboose is sitting back tight. He hasn't been spotted, so he'll get two kills. Two massive ones at that. Envy, they still keep the dreams alive, and the numbers stay even. 
and they had the idea nrg they wanted shanks to be on the front lines to clear out the back left but even then the paranoia came at a perfect huge time start. so if anything now crashes huge shock start gonna be able to clear out a little bit of sight now it's a 1v2 going in for some and crashes now in action off for free that's another point added to the ultimate he's still a long way away from another rolling thunder but this is the start that nrg need once again, the deal gets evened up, but Crashies is forced to use his Hunter's Fury to try to get this back Som into again. his team's favor. Some again with the Guardian. Like he just said, he shuts me up, and everybody has been shot from NRG. A burst of color in the kill feed is a beautiful look for Envy. They get this down into a 2v1, despite Som trying to pull off some magical antics with the Guardian. Ooh. It doesn't look possible. It doesn't look pa Again, now's the time to play around, see how nice your executes, your full-on rushes are. But if we're talking about maybe best chances, I still think cutting noise would be good for them. But a Rolling Thunder does the trick as well. There's our engine to push, but they have once again been cut down. Ooh. One kill, oh, two kills for Crashies. He's denied the plant as well with that Shock Dart. Has a Recon Drone. Just go ahead and scope out the situation in 4K. And thing is, Envy, no matter what, they just keep being cut down. Wait a minute. Daps. Wait a now, oh no my, way. this is a 1v4. Almost pulls it off. The off character picks that we're seeing once again from NRG. Because again, with the Sage, things change a whole lot more. Daps is trying to get certainly used to that entire dynamic. And in this round, he actually wants to utilize the slow orb over towards snipers, but he gets exposed early for it. It's a prime example of it, but oh my. Envy, oh, no. they cleanly take the B site, but NRG off the rotation back and oh. off the lurker. Well, this one just starts to get a little bit muddy. It's a 2v3 now with all two in the back of sight, still waiting out for players to peek. Mame with a good angle, but Shanks with a staler kill, actually. Food now 1v2. Has to spot out a couple of people. Crossing! <laughs> and Shanks has Oy. to get it in the end. Oh. Outs that they're going to just immediately run it towards A. NRG right. have to respect the space, and with the Phantoms in hand, you're gonna hope to see maybe a highlight player too. There it is, Shanks, doubling your kills in one round. And you hate to see it if you're an Envy fan, but you also have to love it. Trying to stay as economically sound as possible. And look, oh my, Rush Myth from Shanks, what on earth? He was the one that gets the three kills. C-Long, what is happening? It's a gamble, man. <laughs> well, not a good gamble, but it definitely was a gamble. This isn't unexpected. I mean, you'd see these. Uh, the sort of three-man stacks down long happen occasionally. It's usually more common when there's an operator in play, but again, variety is a spice of life, and it's right. time to be a little bit more spicy. Maybe not like that, though. Envy are looking primed to take double digits here, but it's just a, a unique take on what we see sometimes with a, a gamble towards C-Long to try to take control of the orb, if nothing else. So, you have to... Give a little bit of praise to Energy for trying it out, I suppose. Surely. And one thing I want to touch on while we have a bit of this mid-round lull is I think it was some incredible coverage by NRG in that last round because when it was uh, their, their omen spotted out in Cubby, they completely covered him by just tossing out so much util to deny that C long control like you mentioned. So even if these rounds are a little bit memey, there is some good stuff that you can learn from on how to cover your teammates and how to keep the dream alive. So, I mean, hey, you have to respect it again. Energy, they're trying new things out. Like you said, this player still, uh, at least for, for the boys of NRG, still maintaining the type of play style as they have been doing for the past couple of days. But Good even shot. then, with NRG just invading these back choke points, they are never safe. Envy tries to fight long, there's a player watching over. They try to fight short, well, they end up getting picked down. So Envy now at this point, down already to just four men. Not only that, but the B-side is going to be completely open. This all oh, drone is not going to be able to catch anything. But double garage for NRG too. Right Envy, they might be running out of options, but they at least need to make a move. Oh no, Niyu's pushing out already. He's going on an adventure. He doesn't find any buried back on ice. No way. It's gonna get punished though. They TP'd into heaven because they got a little bit of space for free. This might be a spike plant, but I don't think it goes any no. further. And no, absolutely yeah, not. Niyu's already behind. There's that adventure. Final. Still knocking on the door of victory. This is so close to being a 2-0 win. And NRG. 
Oh, I think they're going to be in for one more nasty surprise. No they are way. just everywhere. No Absolutely everywhere. NRG maybe getting a bit too oh. scary there. Unfortunately, get jump scared. No There's way. a neural Hold theft. On. Does get a whole lot of info, but watch out for the Hunter's Fury. Crash, he's pulling it out early. Again, just a false sense of an aid sake in a sense, as one is actually rushing up short, but there you go. Envy, they had already been full rotating in a sense for a while in NRG. Well, anticipating the aid sake, the neural theft gave them all the information that they wanted to really double back to see. So there's no issues now, folks, for the boys of Envy. At least in terms of site control, but now NRG. They're going to regroup things back to a three on three off of the revive. Oh, they're making More so much importantly, noise, so. watch out for FNS. FNS is going to stay on the front lines over towards Garage. Has to hold it down. There's nobody here to really help him. Has to get the kill onto Som, but instead now NV down to a one man disadvantage. Crashies on the front lines. He's going to get discombobulated by the Rolling Thunder. Still one in the back lines. Caboose has to go for it, but Dabs with a pre fire. I mean, that's just wonderful. NRG, really just a switch, really make too much time for themselves. And NRG had more than enough util for the post plant. Though, if anything, they get shambled. And now NRG on the front lines, they need to hold back Envy as they're now on pistols. And, okay, there you go. Daps still over towards Garage, gonna be looking for a second. Good jump down. Envy now down to two. Okay, uh, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone so in Envy wants to be a hero. Crashies. Oh, what? Crashies, no! no! Crashies, no! Still needs one more! Infinite around the corner! That phrase, I'm not a big fan of it just because I feel like you can put that label on anything, but it really is. This is something reminiscent of 10 Man's ranked. Feels like I'm watching a stream from multiple different POVs. <laughs> it's a joy to watch, but at the same time, I have so many questions for what Envy's big plans are. Are they looking to innovate still? Are Energy seriously going to snatch this one away, or are Envy going to try to bring it to OT? Because they've kept this 4 before. Oh my. Uh, Shank somehow still alive. He delays so much time for Caboose. Caboose had full idea that he was there, but now and NRG. They get picked apart as again they make they make a little bit of more scattered rotation hairs off of being able to secure that frag you're probably going to see that same position of what he's done oh, before no, no, if no, no, he no. even needs to step up what has gone wrong envy the crossfires are so overwhelming four kills five kills there's envy with a man disadvantage is going to be able to get the plant down but this one could start to get a little bit scrappy with a couple of players scattered well, they know that Crash is still Ooh. sitting over towards A. Energy, they definitely want to move this one up, go as quickly as possible, because they know that Crash is his A wall. Finally, he'll arrive over towards Long, but look at the pressure on the spike piece. right now. Oh, it doesn't get halfway, though. That means Ooh. there's still a chance here up mine. Great shot from Mummy. Smoke on the spike as well, but there's nobody touching shot. it. Daps. Now here he has to Daps. go ahead and stick the spike, get it to about halfway. Not even going to be able to get this res off. Is no! double OT going to happen? It isn't! Crashies will finish things off for Envy.